Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Red Skull, and I'm so excited to be dipping my red toes into movie punditry. Ha ha ha. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Well, this was a fitting story for my first. Uh, the actor Hugo Weaving, who portrayed me uh, in Captain America First Avenger, uh, turns out he passed on portraying me uh, in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. He's also passing on reprising his role, his most famous role, of Agent Smith in the Matrix movies. Uh, let's get to this article from Time Out London to figure out why on earth Hugo Weaving would be passing up uh, two of his most famous roles. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, so he wasn't in uh, the Avengers films. He's not going to appear in the next Matrix films. Let's get to this. Are you guys is frustrated. Tell me down in the comments below while I read the story. Ah, uh, tell Red Skull. Okay. So now, obviously, we remember he was in 2001's Captain America, uh, but didn't show up for Anthony Russo, Joe Russo's uh, Endgame or Infinity War. The directors say uh, they ha that he has been approached, uh, but did not elaborate as to why he turned them down, and speculation had been rife as, as to why he would uh, pass this up. Well, now, in an interview with Time Out, uh, he was there to promote his new role in the National theaters hotly anticipated the visit opposite Leslie Manville. Uh, anyway, he turned down Marvel because they offered him less money than he was contractually originally obligated. It all comes down to the Benjamins, am I right? Well, turns out uh, he answered this quite clearly. He said, uh, uh, first, he's he's addressing the Matrix films, which is cl no offense to me. I'm a Red Skull. I understand. Hugo Weaving is much more known for Agent Smith. He's not wearing the Red Skull, right? So I understand why he might want to take that role over Red Skull. But why did he pass up Agent Smith? Let's let's get to that. Oh, I loved uh, playing the character Red Skull. It was a lot of fun. We were all obliged to sign up for three pictures. I was thinking Red Skull probably wouldn't come back in Captain America, but he may well come back as a villain in the Avengers. But then they'd push back on the contracts and that we agreed on, and so the money that they offered me for the Avengers was much less than I got for the very first one, and this was for two films. Uh, and the promise when I went first signed the contracts was that the money would grow each time. They said it's uh, just a voice job. It's not that big of a deal. I actually found negotiating with them to, through my agent impossible. And I didn't really want to do it that much, but I, I would have done it. Uh, and then uh, he apparently went on to explain why he's not going to be in the Matrix films. Uh, the Matrix is a very different story. It's unfortunate, but actually I had this offer for the visit and the other came from the Matrix. So I knew it was happening, but I didn't have dates. I thought I could do both and it took eight weeks to work out the dates would work. I held it off accepting a role in the visit during that time. I was in touch with director Lana Wachowski, but in the end she decided that the dates weren't going to work. So we'd sorted the dates and then she sort of changed her mind. They'd been pushing ahead without me, I guess. Well, there you have it. He seems a little disgruntled. And what's very funny to me is Red Skull did some research. He is definitely changing his story. I don't mean to call you out, Hugo, but if we go back to when you spoke to Collider back in 2012, they asked, would you come back for Captain America 2 or Avengers 2? And you said... I did that for Captain America. I think the tendency with those films would be probably not to bring a villain back. They might for the Avengers, but I didn't think I'd be in Captain America 2 or 3. I didn't think Captain... I mean, I think uh, Red Skull will be there. It's not something I would want to do again. I'm glad I did it. I did sign up for a number of pictures. Uh, and I suppose contractually I would be obligated to, but if they forced me to. But they wouldn't want to force someone to do it if they didn't want to. I think I've done my dash with that sort of film. It was good to do it and try it out, but to be honest, it's not the sort of film I seek out and really am excited by. As an actor, I do all sorts of different films. It's great. It stretches you in different ways, but I increasingly like to go back to what I, uh, I increasingly like to go back to what I used to always do, which is get involved with projects that I really have a personal affiliation with. So there we go. We're getting conflicted stories from Hugo Weaving. Hugo, what's the deal, huh? Why dis Red Skull? <laughs> Let me pull a John Campy. I just got a sip of water. <coughs> <coughs> there we go. Now, I don't know what the truth is here, but I do believe Hugo Weaving uh, thinks he's better than these roles. He clearly doesn't want to do these roles, and to be fair, to play devil's advocate... <laughs> I do think it's fair for Hugo Weaven to ask for more money. Why not? He played Red Skull. He is Agent Smith. He should be getting more money. It seems like both the Avengers films and these new Matrix films are looking to 
downplay him into a much more supporting, minimal role, and that's not fair for an actor of Hugo's magna, magna, you know, magnetism. Uh, so I just think uh, Hugo has, in the right here, perhaps, uh, he shouldn't bow down to Marvel gods and just accept it as a voiceover work. Putting on the mask and doing all the work, it's a lot of work. <coughs> Excuse med school here. So I, uh, I, I feel for him. Uh, it seems like he's, uh, he's going to always be kicked for this one. You know, why didn't you do this role? Why didn't you do that role? You had the opportunity. Just take the role. I mean, it's not like he's doing a lot of roles. To be fair, on the Marvel side, it is pretty much a voiceover work now. They don't even really put you in prosthetics these days. They just CG it on and put dots on your face. So uh, it is a glorified voiceover role. And uh, why wouldn't you take that gig? You know what I'm saying? Good news for Ross McCond, who took the role instead. He does a mighty good Red Skull indeed. Uh, so, Ross, I hear you. I heard you. I think you did great there, sir. Uh, but what do you guys think in the comments down below? Would you have preferred to see Hugo Weaving portray Agent Smith again in the Matrix films? Or as, you know, moi, Red Skull, would you like to see me back in there fighting the cap? <laughs> Even uh, uh, the new one they have, uh, the black one who's going to be the cap? I don't I can't say that? Oh. Well, whatever. Uh, there's lots more Marvel movies. I'm sure they'll figure out ways to bring me back, even though I seem to be some now Infinity Ghost or something. Uh, which does bug me a little bit. I was I had a pretty good run in the comics. Uh, I was definitely in a lot of comics against Cap, and they uh, pretty quickly shoved me to the curb. Uh, it does hurt a little bit, I'll be honest. And uh, I had that test wreck and everything. I thought my plan had worked. And I got foiled by Cap again. I just only had those montages to look back on. I really do miss Cap. Could have had a lot of adventures together, but... Even Hugo Weaving doesn't want to portray me. Makes me a little sad, I'll be honest. Ah, but what can you do, huh? What can you do? Cheers. Well, Hugo, I wish you the best and look forward to seeing that weird thing you're doing that I did never heard of that probably will never be seen. But at least the fanboys know why you didn't take Red Skull and that Red Skull's still here for business. Marvel, I'm here! Call me any time! <laughs> well, that's all I have here for Popcorn Planet. I'm not on the socials, so follow my buddy Andy Signor over on the Twitters or the Instagrams or the MySpaces and all those things. Thank you so much for watching here, and make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for all these wonderfully original programs like Nerd Wars and roast reactions and things, you know? <laughs> yeah, go check all that stuff out. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and hit me down in the comments below if you'd like him to bring Red Skull back for a future video. Ta-ta <laughs> for now, everyone, Internet. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh.